Last week, I posted this video and showcased exactly how you can create something similar in less than two hours. But that got me thinking, what can you do in less than one hour? What could you do in 15 minutes? Well, to answer that question, we have to move to AI. So I got exploring and found the perfect way to take any architectural model and convert it into a realistic 3D video in a matter of seconds. So let me show you how. To start off, we need to come to re-render AI. And that's exactly what we have in front of us here today. Re-render AI has a couple of features, but what we're looking for is the full remake. So select full remake in the top left. Now, traditionally with AI rendering software, you go ahead, add an image, type in a prompt and away you go. But what makes this so special and makes it so useful for us is the 3D model import option. So instead of adding an image, we can import our 3D X models from any software that we've exported it from. Now, if you're a Patreon subscriber, the link is down below. This model is of course in the subscription. So what we're gonna do is drag and drop our 3D model into re-render AI, and then use our scroll wheel to find the camera angle that we wanna set. Left clicking to orbit around and right clicking to pan. For me personally, I'd like to see a scene from below this swimming pool looking back up at the house because I believe that will make for an incredible scene. But at the same time, I want the AI to know exactly that this is a pool rather than it generating some random object in the middle of the scene. So once I'm happy with the orbit and setup of that image, I can go through the pre-selections for re-render. Select any of them that you prefer or scroll to the bottom and add a style in. Once you've done that, we can go ahead and select some additional details. Like for example, do we want it to be sunrise or sunset or just somewhere in the middle of the day? Let's go a beautiful middle of the day shot. We'll select our season as spring for some nice wildflowers. Make sure our sky is relatively clear. We are somewhere on the coast, so we can also include that detail. The street itself, let's go beachfront. And of course, the architectural model itself is predominantly gypsum, but we could reimagine it if we wanted to and go brick, stone or concrete. For now, I'm just gonna leave it relatively simple and go confirm. Now, the hardest thing about rendering with AI software is being a prompt engineer. You have to know what you're doing, but thankfully here, we don't have to worry about it. On the free trial, we can't even change the prompts, which is a good thing and a bad thing. So let's just go ahead and hit the next button whilst leaving it as balanced. If we wanna try and mess with these settings to get an even more creative image out of it, go ahead. But for me, I'm just gonna press next. You'll see it's gonna do its thing. It's gonna automatically type out the prompt for you and then you can hit the render button. Now I've exceeded my credit limit for today, which means I can come back tomorrow and render out three more images from any model or I can upgrade, which I'm not really interested at this point in time. I'm just testing the software. Now, as we can see, it's generated a relatively different image to what we would have expected. It's got a couple extra swimming pools in the bottom. It's got the ocean in the background. My prompt of adding the seagulls in probably was a bit unnecessary, but hey, we have our image in front of us. Now I've done that same scenario three different times and it's created three different images. So in this scenario, it didn't have the pool, it completely took it out. Whilst in this scenario here, it added an extra pool. Now I do like this scenario, but I wanna make it a little bit better. So I'm gonna hit the fix details button and then it's gonna clean up that image and make it nice and crisp and almost 4K. So now, as we can see, if we slide it across, it has made it incredibly more dynamic, increase the contrast and increase the saturation a little bit. So we can select either of those two images to be able to move on to the next step. Of course, we also have our third image of the original that we created for this tutorial, which has all of the seagulls. I think it'd be relatively interesting to see what the final video product does in this tutorial with these seagulls. So let's go ahead and use this image. If we wanted more alternatives and options, we could jump into ProMe AI and use the renovation tool. So if we'll go to the main menu, AI tools, architecture, scroll to the bottom, you'll see exterior renovation. I like to use this one because it generally keeps most of the massing and form the same. Now we simply drag and drop that seagull image into Promi AI, type in a prompt that we're relatively happy with. Now, like I said earlier, prompts are extremely hard. So if you're struggling for prompts, jump over to Prompt Hero, type in architectural house or whatever it is you're looking for, find something similar, like for instance, this monolithic home here, and just copy and paste the prompt adjusted to your specific needs. 
Once we've done that, we can hit the generate multiple revisions button at the bottom and it will go ahead and create different variations. As you can see, I've done that already previously for one of the other revisions of this AI image. And what it's done is actually taken away quite a lot of this landscaping, the discontinuous pools and the ocean over here and created something a little bit more sublime in line with the previous renders that we've created. So for instance, we have this scene here, which has a strange little logo at the bottom because we obviously had the logo from the last one that has created a new pool design, infinity edge overlooking the ocean, absolutely stunning. After we've created the image that we're relatively happy with, we're gonna come over to Runway. Now, Runway is definitely leading the space for image to video. And right now they've introduced Gen 3 Alpha, which is what we're gonna be using. So we can either go text slash image to video down the bottom, or we can get started with Gen 3 Alpha. I'm using the Turbo version because it's free. You can use the Gen 3 Alpha full version with the paid option. We're gonna drag and drop that image that we created from Promi AI, crop it so it's exactly to the scenes of Runway, copy and paste the exact same description we had in Promi into Runway, and then let it generate. Now, I found that Using the five second duration doesn't allow the software to actually understand the image fully. So I generate the full 10 seconds and then cut out the bits I don't need. You'll see exactly what I mean in just a second. So now that it's finished generating the image, we can press play and watch it together. So on first glance, we see those birds moving, panning towards the house. Absolutely stunning. Now, I don't think I can fault this considering it took a number of seconds to create this. Yes, there is a few things wrong. Yes, there's some shadows in the way. The ducks are a little bit weird in the foreground. But overall, the video it's created in a number of seconds is ultra realistic. And there is no way I could have done this in what has taken me maybe 10 minutes. Now, I've also done the same with one of the other images and it is a little bit more relaxed and a little bit more toned down. It is not moving as much as the first one did. But what you'll see in this variation is it starts with the existing render and then it slowly pans into its version of what it believes the house should be. And then it starts moving the camera angles. So like I said originally, the five seconds just isn't long enough because the first five seconds are a little bit weird and just finding their feet, whilst the last five seconds are what we would actually be able to use from this content. Anyway, that's all for me, team. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. And like always, I will see you next week.